Hi, Elle Ingalls here at pressure-free.com and topic today on pressure-free living with Elle, uh, adrenaline. Uh, I, I would now classify myself before 2010 as an adrenaline junkie. And um, back then I would not have thought that that was the case because I thought I was a pretty calm professional. I could handle things really well. Um, actually had amazing musicians around the world say, you're such a great executive, you're so calm, cool, collected. Uh, do you ever feel calm, cool, and collected on the outside, but maybe on the inside something else is going on? Like you're continually thinking about what has to happen and you're um, really kind of on edge, uh, probably spilling a lot of stress hormones into your body. Well, that was me and I really didn't know it. And I had signs, but I chose to ignore those signs because I had had them for so long and I didn't think they would ever change and that there was, um, that it was just normal, that I had a quote unquote normal amount of stress in my life. Um, and I should, should qualify that to say normal amount of stressors in my life. Although I've always been kind of, uh, I would consider myself a high performer, always doing more than, than uh, probably necessary, always wanting things to be a little perfect, any perfectionists out there. Um, just, you know, always taking it to the edge. Uh, so here were some of the signs and here are some signs for you. Um, my signs were these. My skin was a mess. So my hands were covered in eczema. You've probably heard me say that before if you watch my show, but this left hand in particular was so, these knuckles were cracked and bleeding for 35 years since the age of 13. You know, I used to attribute it to the fact that that was when I had my first violin competition, but I'm thinking back, there were other things that happened at age 13 for me um, that may have been the stressors that kind of pushed me over the edge. You know, high school, oh, middle school, high school, junior high, um, those years can really start to uh, ramp us up as far as release of stress hormones. I think that's probably what was happening to me. So nasty hands. Uh, I would get adult stress acne like all over my cheeks. My cheeks would be... Um, <laughs> Like it would look like I had blush on, but there was no blush there. <laughs> and it was just flare ups. It wasn't all the time flare ups. Um, another uh, thing that I, that I thought I would have my whole life that was an issue for me was that I had dense fibrous breast tissue. I lost my mother to breast cancer. My grandmother had breast cancer as well, but survived it. She was a survivor. Um, my mom survived for five years after the first diagnosis, but um, came back and was in her spine and in her brain and took her and at kind of a young age, my grandmother lived to be 100, my mom lived to be 68, almost 69. So that was um, very traumatic for our family because my father then died three months later of a heart attack and we say he, he died of a broken heart. But dense fibrous breast tissue, that was a deal for me. I thought, I would in my mind always think, you know, not if I would, but when would it happen to me? And when I started to understand the role of stress hormones, how it affects our skin, how it affects every single cell of our body, how it affects our cognitive functioning in our brain, I was like, okay, this is fascinating to me. I started using my own method on myself. I'd been coaching it for a couple of weeks and then I'm like, I think I need to do it. So I started using the method on myself, like really deeply using it. And in eight weeks time, eight weeks time is when I had my breakthrough or when I noticed the real change in myself. Um, for some of my clients, it's a matter of days. One fellow who's on my website, you hear that he had his first breakthrough in four days. I mean, that is amazing to be in depression or anxiety for years and then to break it in a matter of days or weeks is powerful. And the reason this works is because it's based on the science of the stress response, how the biology of the stress response works in your body. That's why pressure free is so powerful. So I started using this method on myself and um, I actually fell down on the kitchen floor crying when I, when I noticed that my eczema was gone because I had not touched the skin on this knuckle here in, in 35 years. And it was, it was like a miracle to me. Um, and then my breast tissues too, I shared with my mother-in-law, actually showed her, I'm like, look at this. And she's like, oh, they're so youthful. It's like incredible to have that change happen in my body. Um, and these were the exterior changes that I could notice. Um, but here are some of the other things that will tell you 
um, that you might be having an issue with too much adrenaline coursing through your veins. Um, if you have any blood sugar issues. So every time we trigger the fight or flight stress response, we're dumping sugar into the bloodstream. Where is it coming from? We're pulling it out of the liver. We're pulling it out of our cells in our extremities as well, which is why the skin can have some issues and why you might have cold hands and cold feet. So cold hands, cold feet that, you know, you'll, your physician will probably say, oh, that's a thyroid issue. Well, yes, that's true, but that's because the stress hormones affect the thyroid gland. If we can get to the root of the stressors and not release those hormones, the stress hormones, your thyroid will be so much healthier. So any thyroid issues is a sign that you're probably triggering too much adrenaline. You'll hear a lot about cortisol. I'm not gonna talk about cortisol today because it's a whole other deal. <laughs> Just gonna focus on adrenaline. If you notice that you're fidgety, are you a pen clicker? Do you come here for comfort? Do you bite your nails or um, you know, have any sort of like leg jiggling? I was working with a client the other night and the whole beginning of our first session, I noticed that they, their leg was jiggling. By about mm, a third of the way in, the leg had calmed. And at the end, the person was like, I can't believe how I feel right now after just an hour. I'm like, yeah, it's because I'm empowering you and you're going to figure this out and it's going to be pretty amazing for you. So leg jiggling, um, fidgeting. Oops, so loud sound over there. We're going to come over this way. Um, sounds are triggers for me, as you may know, if you watch my show. Let's see what else um, can inform you. Uh, if you feel um, nauseous in your stomach, if you feel butterflies in your stomach, um, that's a key sign that you're triggering too much adrenaline. If you feel your heart pounding, of course. Some people get instant headaches or migraines when they're triggering too much of the stress hormones. So that could be a sign too. Some physical tension things like, do you clench your jaw? Is your jaw tight? Um, your shoulders, like are your shoulders up? That could be a sign. Um, let's see, what are some other things that I've had happen to my clients? If you're losing your hair, like if your hair is thinning, that's definitely a sign. Um, any sort of ill health will be a sign that you're triggering the stress response because chronic disease, chronic either mental or physical, is directly caused by these hormones or made worse by them. So anything that's going on with you chronically, uh, we, can, we can trace it back to the release of these hormones for you. Um, let's see. Well, those are the things that are coming to my mind right now. So if you have any of those presenting in your body, and most people don't have like all of it, although some people do, but they, they have some of it. Like they'll, they'll say, oh yeah, it's all in my head. Like I have headaches and, and um, my jaw is tense, my mouth is dry, those kinds of symptoms. Um, so everyone is really different in how stress presents in their bodies um, and depending on the kind of stressor. So you can read about it in a textbook and what I found after working with hundreds of people is that everyone is different. Everyone is different. I've had clients who got instant diarrhea and others that are constipated forever. <laughs> it's, like, it's just so amazing how these hormones work in our bodies and how different it can be for people. Um, so I wanted to just share, you know, for years I was an adrenaline junkie and I didn't know it. And I only wish I could go back in time because when we're under the influence of stress hormones, we say things and do things we later regret. We're not fully functioning cognitive, so we waste time. And so if you feel lack of focus, there's a big one. If you're feeling like your brain isn't really working very well and they have a lack of focus, if you have memory issues, like you can't remember people's names or anything like that, that's just can be a sign that you're triggering these hormones and your hippocampus is shut down. Um, so yeah, those are just, you know, some of the things. And um, it's so great to get clean. <laughs> uh, lately, a phrase that's been coming out, I think it's one of my clients said it to me, it was like, I'm getting clean from the inside out. I'm like, yes, you are. Yes, you are. So um, if this intrigues you, if you want to learn more, you know, you can just go to lingles.com and there's a little button that says um, you can click for a free consultation. Speak with l.com takes you right to that calendar. You don't even have to go to my website. But if you want to tour around on my website and see testimonials from people who've worked with me, um, that, that would be a great way for you to understand more about what I do and how I do it. So have a great pressure-free day. Bye. Oh, I'm still in Concord. I'm in Concord, Massachusetts. And this is the backyard of this beautiful Airbnb I'm staying in. It's, it's really gorgeous. It's like a, I think it's an old carriage house, but they turned it into a pool house and then turned it into a gorgeous Airbnb on this 
very amazing property. <laughs> so yeah, there's a path down here in a field. I'm, I'm really loving it. I'm leaving, going back to Michigan tomorrow. I love Michigan, but I also love New England. So it's a great pressure-free day. Bye.